All right, Bernie's Bistro orders cases of wines from Harry's Wholesalers as stock on hands decrease. About a thousand cases of wine are ordered each year in lots of 40. Bernie's new assistant manager has recommended the bistro should hold more wine stock. Discuss two reasons why increasing inventory would be a good idea as well as two costs of holding inventory. Okay, so what are we looking at? Question 3A. Um, benefits? Our benefits would be um, always have stock. Or inventory. This would be good for customers. Increasing our goodwill. Um, okay, don't have to pay um, better for ordering. Better for ordering. Uh, quicker demand for, yeah, better for ordering. So there's three. Now the other part of the question says, give me, uh, discuss two costs of holding inventory. So what are our costs? Uh, storage. And handling costs. Um, risk of obsolescence also risks of theft if you have more of something someone's more likely to steal it than if you have less of something um, Price fluctuations. And opportunity cost. Good. What else could we do with the money? Okay, anyone got any questions around those? They're just three benefits and three costs. Okay, you're asked to provide two, so any two of up those would be good, and any two of those would be up there would be good. And there's your couple of marks. Okay, question B. Harry Wholesales offers 30 days credit terms to all his customers with a 2% discount offered to customers who settle their accounts within seven days. Bernie always tries to pay his account on time in order to receive the discount, but sometimes he is a week or two late in paying. Okay, what are the implications for Harry's wines if there is a significant portion of credit customers who take longer than 30 days to settle their accounts? Okay, let's go for B. Flip my page around. So what's the, uh, what's the uh, implications for Harry? He could have liquidity issues. Not enough cash. Um, suppliers might refuse to pay, might uh, not pay, um, 
They might refuse inventory on credit. So if we, have, if we do not have enough cash, the suppliers might refuse uh, inventory on credit and or they might supply to us but might, we might incur uh, interest costs. So those are three reasons why uh, the implications of getting people to settle their accounts on time. What about C? You are the loan officer employed at ANZ, uh, XYZ Bank and have been approached by Harry, the owner of Wholesale Wines, for a loan. You note that the closing cash balances for the business, uh, hang on, you notice the closing cash balance for Harry's Wholesale for last two years are 12000 15000 respectively. The business also took out a loan for 25000 for the current year and sold plant and equipment worth 60000 over the past two years. The cash from operating activities last year was negative 34000 and in the preceding year was 5000 Now, what does this mean? We're obviously looking at um, reasons for uh, warning signs in cash flow. Now, just so I can demonstrate this effectively, it says indicate whether you would advance a loan and give the reasons for your decision. Now I'll demonstrate what I know as far as cash flow. So I'll have operating activities, financing activities and investing activities so that you can understand where I'm coming from. And we'll have here year one and year two. All right, now it says, let's have a look at our financing activities. It says the cash from operating activities, oh, oh, yeah, sorry, let me have a look at my operating activities. The cash from operating activities last year was a negative 34,000 and in the preceding year was 5,000. Actually, I'll just switch that around and put two and one so it reads the same way. So I've got 5,000 here. No, no, actually 34,000. So I'll do it the right way. 34,000 and 5,000. So I'll tick off that and I'll tick off that. It says, uh, what else does it say? Uh, the business took out a loan for 25,000 for the current year. So it's borrowed money of 25,000. Actually, that was a negative operating activity. So it's borrowed money of 25000 so that means a cash inflow to the business. So I've taken that. And it's sold plant and equipment for 60000 over the last two years. So I've got 30000 here as cash inflow, and another 30000 here as cash inflow. Uh, and it says closing cash balances. It said for the last two years were 12,000 and 15,000 respectively. So that's 12,000 and 15,000 respectively. Now would you lend money based on this? So you really need to, what you need to look at is warning signs. Now one of my warning signs is this one here. Operating activities that are negative. Not a very good thing. My financing activities, I have borrowed money, but it looks like I've borrowed money to fund my operations. Because it doesn't mention anywhere in my question that I've bought assets, which is what I want to be doing with my financing activities. And my investing activities, it's indicated that we sold plant and equipment worth 60,000. It doesn't say we replaced plant and equipment worth 60,000, we just sold it. So once again, it looks like I'm selling non-current assets to finance my operations. So, now, question is, indicate whether you would advance a loan, give your reasons. No. Due to uh, negative 
operating activities. That's the first warning sign. Also, using financing for operations. And thirdly, selling non-current assets and not replacing them. So a healthy cash flow would have positives here. Okay, financing activities would also be positive. But our investing activities should be a negative cash flow. Which means that we should have more money going out of the business for my assets than coming in. So if you don't have these, you're, they're warning signs. So already we've got a negative here, warning sign. Okay, the positive's there, but no indication that we're buying assets with it. So therefore, there's my warning signs.